Yo, yo, Smooth here. Having a sandwich before I go back to school. Um, want to do a quick review. I just decided I want to do one of my all-time favorite movies. Ernest Goes to Jail. Sue me. Alright, this movie's awesome. Um, I don't care what anyone says. I know all the... I agree. All the other Ernest movies suck. This is actually a good film. It's a great screwball comedy. Um... Ernest, Jim Varney gives my best Ernest, like, I feel like there's, like, a different Ernest in each Ernest movie, and this is my favorite Ernest, I feel, um, he's, like, different levels of stupid in the other movies, yeah, this is my favorite Ernest, um, probably the smartest Ernest, and, um, what it is, Ernest works at a bank, a, a escaped convict named Nash uh, switches places with him. So he throws Ernest in jail, and he's out living his life. So he's like, he's uh, Felix is like, a, it's just Jim Barney playing Felix Nash to the look like. So that was easy. Um, both characters are awesome. Like uh, Jim Barney plays it as if it's just an alter ego. It's just it's amazing. Um, a lot of unpredictable jokes in here. There's a plot twist at the end. I'm not sure, I'll, I'll go ahead and run it for you. Ernest gets electrocuted so much throughout the entire movie that his body becomes weightless and he starts flying around the bank. That's unpredictable plot. It does, in, that, that's like, uh, it's a great fight sequence too. It's, it's near, it's like the last ten minutes of the movie, Ernest gets electrocuted, he starts flying, then Felix Nash, the ex-convict, starts beating him up and starts throwing him around the bank. Yeah, that's... I didn't think like that to happen. Uh, there's a great, there's great so original songs for the movie. Like, there's a part where Ernest that has you know his traditional scenes at the beginning of the Ernest movies where he like destroy something, you know, just for like to show you, uh, introduce you to his character. Because um, I don't know why they made the movie self singular like that. Just gave him a different job in each movie. I don't see why they did that. Um, I would have liked to see like a story arc or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, so. Oh, what was I talking about? Yeah, the original score. Uh, Ernest. Uh, the, the original songs in the movie are just so great. Uh, they're made by Bruce Arnston, and he like made a. I wish my cat would shut up. Okay. Uh, the Bruce Arnston. He made a. Uh, film with all the cast of the Ernest movies called Existo, which I really want to see. It's like a Rocky Horror type thing. It's the security card Chuck, uh, he he wears a dress in that movie. I'll, I'll post links to the, my, to a video from that movie, and you're like, wow, the Ernest people were freaking weird. Um, but anyway, yeah. Chuck, the security guard, is listening to a song on the radio and dancing to it while Ernest destroys the bank, and he just, it's like, don't make me climb, don't make me climb, I don't have my tree climbing shoes. So like, talking about like climbing up a coconut tree, and, yeah, you know, like, it's weird. I shouldn't have sang that in front of the camera. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's it. One of my all-time favorite movies, I don't give a fuck.